From what I can tell, the overwhelming majority of stories that news organizations cover have no bearing at all on people's lives. Like gas will jump by two bucks and it's kind of annoying. What? You know, people I know really care what gas costs because they're not, I mean, that matters. Like you have to drive to work and stuff. And I think that's a huge story. If gas jumps dramatically, if inflation is you know, over 5% for a persistent period, Real actual inflation, not CPI nonsense, but like the actual cost of things that you buy is rising faster than your wages. That seems like a huge story. What's bigger than that? If our country is approaching nuclear conflict with the world's you know, largest nuclear stockpile, why would we talk about that? Why would we talk about why would we make make up racial conflict that doesn't exist? And okay, if you do that once or three times a year. Maybe it's a mistake, maybe you're just stupid. Most people maybe obviously are stupid, and they just, you know, just made a mistake. But if you're doing that every week for like 10 years, maybe there's a reason you're doing that. Is there a reason that you're not covering any of the stories that actually matter and instead focusing on the ones that are certain to inflame division in your population? It can't be a mistake. I don't think I'm a conspiracy nut. I'm not going to say a word about UFOs or the Kennedy assassination. I'm just going <laughs> to. You know what I could? Yes, Steve did not kill himself. That's right. No, we're pointing back to you, but whatever. Uh, no, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think you need to be a conspiracy nut to wonder, like, what is that? Why are they not only not addressing the issues that matter, but they're kind of going out of their way to ignore them? And at first you think, well, it's because the people who, you know, decide what merits news coverage all live in, like, a very small number of coastal locations on the East Coast or in L.A. And they just have such a different life experience from everybody else. They just don't know this is happening. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a second. They have no idea that the economy is sagging? Really? How could you not know that? They have no idea that we're actively fighting Russia in a war? Hey, maybe you're for that, maybe you're not, but maybe we should talk about it, don't you think? Yeah. A war with nuclear and power, like, worth mentioning, I think. But they go out of their way, and instead they're like, oh, by the way, you, you should hate him, and he should hate you back. And I just think that's, at some point, it's just, you have to call it what it is, which is lying. Yeah. And lying with a very specific purpose, which is to avert your gaze, to pull your attention away from the things that matter. That's not news coverage, that's, that's just... Kind of classic propaganda. Exactly. Yeah. It's sort of scary if you think about it. And it's scary for a really simple reason. First of all, lying is always bad. It's always bad. It's lying by its nature. You know, it's it's just it's poison. And it hurts the person who does it and it harms the person who receives it. There's never a justification for it. There are excuses for it. I'm afraid of being exposed for who I really am. That's why people lie. But there's never a justification for it. It's never the right thing. And we, of course, we all do it. We're trying to hide from others who we really are because we're ashamed. I understand that. I have a lot of kids. And I always say to my kids, you know, if you think you're hiding something, we already know. <laughs> we already know. And that's true not just of your children, but the people that you know and love. People run around like, I hope nobody knows about whatever. Everybody knows. Yeah, but, you know, they can spell it on you. Like, it's true. Everybody knows. I tell my kids this all the time. Oh, you think you're hiding it, huh? No, you're not. Everybody knows. And they love you anyway. Yep. So you don't actually have to hide who you are anymore. But Amen. if you're continuing to lie like that, and if the range of options for getting information is shrinking, not growing, then you have a huge, huge problem. And there are two main effects of this. The first effect is to kind of end democracy. You can't. The whole idea of democracy is based on the understanding that the people who vote will have some knowledge of what they're voting on, what the real issues are, that they'll be informed, they'll have an informed citizen. And that's why the First Amendment is not the Eighth Amendment. It's the First Amendment. It's the predicate for democracy. You can't have democracy without free information, freely moving information, without access to what the facts are. And we can argue about what the facts are. And because of the First Amendment, we don't really have to argue because we have a, an infinite range of perspectives available to us. No one has a monopoly on the truth. As soon as someone tells you, 
I will not play on the truth and everything else is misinformation. That person is by, by definition lying. By definition. Years ago, I worked for an editor in, uh, in Arkansas, in Little Rock, Arkansas, a wonderful man called Paul Greenberg, and I, I filed a piece, and one, a sentence began, the truth is, and he, this was back when he like, literally filed a piece of paper and go to his office and tray and send it back to you, the assistant manager. This was like people smoked in the elevators, then this was a <laughs> They actually stopped smoking in the elevators of the newspaper while I worked there, and my the guy who shared the desk was like, it's just tyranny. Tell me it's just tyranny. <laughs> Me in and it said, See me. I was like completely confused. Was, the truth is, and I walked into his office, and it was Paul Greenberg. He was a religious man, a very wise man, a cantor in the synagogue. He sang his prayers, and uh, and he said to me, So, did, when did you come to believe you possessed the truth? I said, I don't know. I don't know. Is it if you see so you mistaking yourself for God, then you have the truth? The truth is, you're, you're telling your readers you know what the truth is. Uh, well, sir, I just, you know, I have to We're going to take that phrase out because it suggests hubris. It suggests that you believe that you possess something that no human being can possess, which is the absolute truth about something. That's unknowable. We're people. We're not God. I was like, whoa, okay. I was 23. I've been brooding on that for the last 30 years. <laughs> but anybody who tells you that he possesses the truth is by definition lying to you. And that's why we have an unlimited variety of perspectives available to us. An unlimited variety, you know, amount of facts about what's happening in the world and what we believe will happen in the world available to us. The first time we guarantee that we need that in order to have democracy. Otherwise, it's not. You know, if you don't even know what the election is about, if you don't understand what the consequences of your vote could be, then why does it even matter if you vote? You're being controlled without even knowing you're being controlled. It's very insidious. But the second problem with living in a world where lying is the default setting of the news media, either explicit lying, just like telling you something that's provably untrue, or much more common, I would say scarier is just the exclusion of facts. So you'll read a story and it'll be factually true. In other words, a lawyer would sign off on it, but it leaves out the essence. Like there are things they're not telling you. So are they lying to you? Yes, they are. Maybe not in a legal sense, but certainly in a deeper sense, they are lying to you. They're misleading you. And the problem when you get that, that that's always existed, nothing new under the sun, as you know. But when you get that at scale, in other words, when every outlet is doing it, what is the effect on the population? Of course, they're uninformed. But it also starts to drive people crazy. It starts to drive people crazy. You can't believe anything. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very bewildering. That, that's actually a form of chaos, which is the one condition people just can't handle. Chaos. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's real. It's almost loose in the jet. It's like Lucy in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> I'm serious. And that makes people insane yeah. after a while. Like you don't take anything at face value. <clears throat> and if you know, if you know people who are politically engaged, who are really interested in politics, you will have noticed in the past couple of years that very smart, educated, rational people all of a sudden are willing to entertain theories about things that would have seemed outlandish three years ago. These are the so-called conspiracy theorists we're told to be afraid of. And as in point of fact, the conspiracy theorists have a much better track record of accuracy than, say, the New York Times, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, but there are also cases where, I, I, I have close friends like this, or, you know, if they're willing to believe things that seem, even to me, the most open-minded person you will ever be, ever, I'm willing to believe in anything if you can prove it. I've lived long enough that I know anything is possible because I've seen it. Even I'm like, that sounds a little far out, man. A little far out. But then I think to myself, don't judge. When everything is fake or feels fake, and you can't believe anybody in power, why wouldn't people reach those conclusions? 
I'm serious. Like, whose fault is that, actually? If they can't even tell you the truth about a communicable disease that's killing people, they're absolutely lying to you about that. Amen. And not, and, and, and not just lying to you, but lying to you with the knowledge that you must know that they're lying to you. That's the spooky part. It's, it's scary, kind of. It's scary. It's like, they know that we know, but they don't care, and they keep lying anyway. 